Imagine for a moment, what if a single treatment, just one time, could permanently wipe out HIV? No more daily pills, no constant monitoring, no lifelong management, just a genetic fix and that's it. Sounds like science fiction, right? But what if that once impossible dream is now starting to take shape in real labs with real patients? Today, we're exploring whether gene therapy could truly cure HIV forever. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we dive deep into cutting-edge health breakthroughs and the science shaping our future. Stick around, because in this video, we'll explore what gene therapy really is and how it works against HIV. The famous Berlin patient case that proved a cure is possible the groundbreaking gene editing strategies being tested right now, the big challenges and ethical questions ahead, and whether a real cure is just around the corner, let's get started. So, first things first, what is gene therapy? In simple terms, it's a revolutionary medical approach where scientists modify, repair, or replace specific genes in your body to treat or even prevent disease. When applied to HIV, the idea gets very targeted. Scientists are exploring ways to delete or edit the genes HIV uses to invade your cells, strengthen your immune system's defenses, or block HIV's ability to replicate once it's inside. It's not just treating symptoms. It's about reprogramming the body to outsmart the virus permanently. To understand the cure, we have to understand the enemy. HIV targets your immune system, specifically CD4 cells, the very cells that coordinate your body's defense. To enter, it uses a kind of keyhole called the CCR5 receptor. Once inside, HIV does something incredibly sneaky. It inserts its own genetic instructions into your DNA, hijacking your cell's machinery to make endless copies of itself. The light bulb moment for scientists? If we can block that entry point or delete the viral instructions from the DNA, we might stop HIV cold. This theory became real with one man, Timothy Ray Brown, also known as the Berlin patient. He had leukemia and needed a bone marrow transplant. His donor happened to carry a rare genetic mutation, a CCR5 mutation that makes people naturally resistant to HIV. After the transplant, something extraordinary happened. Timothy's HIV became completely undetectable, and it stayed that way for over 12 years, until his passing from cancer. This was the first real proof that changing genetics could cure HIV. It shocked the scientific world and turned a dream into a tangible possibility. But a bone marrow transplant is risky, complex, and not scalable. So how are scientists building on that success today? Right now, there are three main gene therapy strategies in development. One, CRISPR gene editing, the genetic scissors. Scientists can precisely snip HIV DNA out of infected cells. Early trials show promise, reducing HIV without damaging healthy DNA. Two, CCR5 deletion, inspired by the Berlin patient. Instead of transplants, researchers use tools like CRISPR or zinc fingers to delete the CCR5 gene in a patient's own immune cells. No doorway means no HIV entry. 3. CAR T-cell therapy, borrowed from cancer treatment. Doctors reprogram a patient's T-cells to become supercharged HIV hunters. When reinfused, they attack infected cells like a specialized army. And these aren't just theories. There are real clinical trials happening right now in the US, like Excision Bio's EBT101, American Gene Technologies AGT103T, and earlier Calamune studies. Some patients have even gone months or years without needing daily HIV meds. So why isn't this available yet? There are big roadblocks. Cost. Current gene therapies can cost $100,000 plus per patient. Safety, risks of editing the wrong gene, immune reactions, and unknown long-term effects. Scalability, these aren't pills. 
their complex lab procedures requiring highly trained staff. Ethics. Permanent DNA changes raise deep societal and moral questions. These challenges mean we're not at the finish line just yet. So where does that leave us? We're closer than ever before. Experts believe the first FDA-approved functional cures where HIV remains undetectable long-term without daily treatment could arrive within the next five to 10 years. That would be nothing short of revolutionary. But until then, regular testing, early diagnosis, and access to current antiretroviral therapy remain the most effective tools we have today. So, can gene therapy really cure HIV forever? The answer is, we're not there yet. But the progress is real, and the future looks brighter than ever. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into groundbreaking health science, and share this video with someone who needs hope. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think gene therapy is the ultimate cure for HIV? Or are we still a long way off? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.